I drink enough water, so why do I get dry mouth? Well, when it comes to women, there is more to dry mouth than dehydration. Dry mouth is linked to hormonal changes and even more so to changes in health. Today, I'm going to show you a neat trick how you can use saliva pH to discover a reason behind why your mouth is dry. If you are not familiar with what saliva pH is, here's an ultra short explanation. A healthy saliva pH is about 6.8. That's very close to neutral. pH is a measure of acidity and alkalinity with seven indicating a neutral point. Anything lower than seven is acid and anything higher than that is alkaline. So the lower from seven, the more acid, or the higher, the more alkaline something is. For example, peas, oranges, and Coca-Cola are all acidic, but not to the same degree. Peas are less acid than oranges, and oranges are less acid than Coca-Cola. pH charts can be very revealing. Exactly the same rule applies to pH above seven. The further away from seven, the more alkaline something is. For example, Spinach is more alkaline than celery, and celery is more alkaline than olives. Okay, but that's enough about food. Let's talk now about why you get dry mouth. Dry mouth around menopause and perimenopause is extremely common, and that's why it's so easy to blame declining estrogen for that. Lower estrogen can, in fact, lower saliva flow, which makes mouth dry, but that's not the whole story. The other part of the story is much more interesting because it gives you control over mouth dryness. That's good because you don't want to have it. Dry mouth can cause bad breath, poor food digestion, difficulty swallowing, dental caries, gum disease, mouth sores, and trash or yeast in the mouth among other problems. All that can lead to low self-esteem, anxiety, and even depression. So, nope, say no to dry mouth. But why do you get dry mouth? Apparently, metabolic health, not just estrogen, has a lot to do with it. This is where saliva pH comes in. Saliva pH changes with health. When health is good, saliva pH stays around 6.8. But when health is less than perfect, saliva pH starts moving towards the acidic side. So if you have a pH meter or pH strips, which you can get online, you can test your saliva pH and see whether it is close to the ideal. Dry mouth and pH are linked. The drier the mouth, the lower the pH, and the lower the pH, the more problems with health. But there is one more component that makes dry mouth drier and saliva pH lower. It is called metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is a cluster of conditions that occur together. Uh, they are linked to higher risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. Metabolic syndrome is made worse by hormonal changes which happen during perimenopause and menopause. Studies showed that high triglycerides, high blood glucose and larger waste, all part of the metabolic syndrome, are a big contributor to mouth dryness and they also can make saliva pH more acidic. As per the study, women without any metabolic syndrome components had saliva around 6.8 women with three components had saliva pH at 6.6. .6. That might not look like much, but even a minute drop in pH is enough to contribute to periodontitis and that to loss of teeth. Saliva pH is considered a diagnostic biomarker, which can reflect overall health. I would encourage you to get a pH strip to test yourself. Make sure you test at least two hours after eating. If you test less than two hours from meal, your pH saliva may be artificially elevated and you may get a wrong reading. 
your saliva pH and dry mouth are linked. The lower the saliva flow, the lower the saliva pH. What can you do to improve both? Get rid of metabolic syndrome. Menopausal dry mouth has little to do with drinking water and more to do with the menopause. Work on flattening the belly and your mouth will thank you. If you need step-by-step -step instructions on how to keep healthy and slim, please look up our courses. They will help you get an A in health. In the meantime, subscribe and press that bell to get notifications when the new videos get posted. Until then.